guys i just got home from the gym i know i have not intro this vlog yet so this is the intro hello happy monday we are at it again except for today or this week is a four week work week because i'm off for good friday thank the good lord jesus for dying on the cross um but i just got home i am on my own this week which i hate doing hey baba i need to go outside because um my husband left really early this morning to go to Washington DC for, for the junior class trip. So I am home taking care of the dogs. We had family staying um, this, was here this morning so I didn't have to come home at lunch to let the dogs out because they were here until like noon or something like that. But it's now six o'clock, I just got home and I'm hanging out with them outside. I'm hoping you can hear me through the dogs like playing tug of war um but what was i gonna say oh so i just got home i'm oh i'm by myself this week so just until wednesday and then seth comes home on wednesday evening but i am a dog single dog mom of two this week so that makes things a little bit harder i have to come home at lunch and take them out and you know that type of stuff i have to I don't know it's just it's harder when there's only one of you instead of two but anyway this is my life so we our backyard used to be so nice we when we originally moved here Seth and I placed sod through the whole backyard we did it by ourselves and it looked so nice and then we got another dog and it completely destroyed it so now we just have these turf things because it's completely sand and that just makes our house so dirty so i'm not sure if i included this in the last um vlog but we actually are getting quotes for somebody to just do landscaping in the backyard and then we're also getting quotes for a pool um that's our biggest regret when moving here was not buying a house with a pool and i we kind of want to be in this house long term if we can just because it's so like the market is so crazy right now it's so expensive to buy a house so i don't think that we really want to buy um i don't know we might you know like life changes and whatever but we would love to have a pool like this time of year i would never leave my house if i had a pool it's like i think about it every week and i'm like uh, why am I making plans like if I literally had a pool in my backyard I could just I would sit there all day so anyway we're doing that tonight for dinner I'm making soup I need to get started on it but yeah welcome to the vlog let's have a good week today was a great day at work I'll tell you guys a bit more about the patients um, a little bit later but yeah good start to the week dinner is coming along nicely I'm just making I think it's called like a Tuscan soup I've shared the recipe with you guys before um let me show it to you though just in case you're new here it's an italian zuppa toscana with potatoes kale fried caramelized firm tofu and sun-dried tomatoes it's from mica deli it's so good it's one of my favorite soups it's actually like one of the only soups i ever make it's amazing oh shoot i don't have kale whoops it's the best time of the night it's time for a shower good morning you guys happy tuesday i'm headed to work um I'm actually headed to a different location today. Um, my trainer goes on Monday afternoons and Tuesdays he goes to a different location. He didn't last week because that location was closed, but um, I'm headed there this morning, so let's have a good Tuesday. I just got to the gym and I realized that I forgot my headphones for the second day in a row. I forgot my headphones yesterday and it was fine because I was just doing like an upper body workout, but today I'm doing legs and I don't have my headphones and I'm so upset at myself. I don't want to run home because it already took me like 17 like 20 minutes to get here um because i'm at another office location today and if i run home it'll be another 10 minutes i have to come back and i already have like so much time because i i saw five patients this morning and i was speedy gonzalez they're really easy um but now i'm like shoot i have to work out without headphones again and it's leg day like oh, come on anyway we have to do it so we're doing just picked up a green smoothie from clean juice i get the double one with hemp protein and no maple syrup but i kind of wish i did get maple syrup because it's not sweet at all i wrapped up my workout and i was dying even though i had that soup beforehand i just felt like really depleted in calories so i was like i need something to eat um so i just picked this up and now i'm gonna drive back to work we have a a lot of patients this afternoon so hopefully it goes well solicit you know all of these i'm gonna pour myself a coffee i 
have to have coffee with like a bunch of ice. If I don't feel like it helps, it enhances the flavor because I like it by itself, but it just it tastes so much better with a cracked up ice. This is like how much ice I put in it. And then I'm having the classic cola poppies because I feel like I single-handedly sell out Publix from the Doc Pops because they're always sold out. Um, whoa, what is this leaking? So anyway, I had to get cola because they were sold out. Coca-Cola is probably my second favorite flavor, but the Doc Pop is just the best. It's supreme. I think they have a root beer flavor that I haven't tried that I should try because I do... I do like root beer. I haven't had it in years, but I do like it. Wait for all the foam to go down. I'm just heating up some leftover soup from last night for dinner tonight because I don't feel like cooking. I actually really love making soup because one, I'm here alone, as you guys know, so that's out of town. So this could literally last me all week. And I'm not one who really cares about eating leftovers. Like I'll eat leftovers all day if it makes my life easier. So I actually really love leftovers. But anyway, um, I want to tell you guys about a few patients that I saw today. Um, but now I'm trying to think. My last patient of the day was the best patient. Um, she, I did a joint injection on her shoulder a couple of weeks ago and I was really nervous on how well it was gonna take because she had severe range of motion, like couldn't even lift her shoulder really past here. Um, but today she could lift it up here. She could walk up the side of the room. She was doing her physical therapy exercises every day. And then, so that made me really happy. She was so joyful and just so thankful. She was like, thank you so much, April. Which, it just makes my day to remember that what i'm doing matters you know so anyway i saw that i saw some copd which is actually something i have not seen recently oh my god amazing oh my husband's calling me hey honey what's up babe nothing much what's up with you oh i was just finished eating mm. what do you guys eat I like to make these boys these little mats with yogurt and peanut butter on them. Wait, they keep them occupied for like at least 10 minutes, which is a win in my book. And then I'm getting ready. I just need to do the dishes. I just showered. Um, I'm watching the new show, The Night Agent on Netflix. And it's pretty good, but it might be a little spooky if you're being like home by myself. So this might be my last episode, but I only have a few dishes. That's the pro of being home alone. Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Just getting in my car to leave for work. We have um, staff meeting every Wednesday from 8 to 9. And then we have a provider meeting every Monday from 8 to 9. Um, it's 7.54. I'm going to be a couple minutes late, but it's cool. Usually somebody, like multiple people are late. <laughs> we usually don't really million sports. people watched it, 9 like, million. more than most NBA games this year. This major more morning toast. Um, what was I saying? Oh, usually we don't start right on time. A lot of the providers are fashionably late to sell. Yes, good morning. I think I told you guys yesterday that I was going to tell you the type of patients that I saw yesterday, and I can't remember if I actually did. Um, <clears throat> so, actually, you know what I did because I, maybe I didn't. I get so confused with like all of the different modes of content that I do. <laughs> if I have actually, like, if I said it in a TikTok, which I know I said it in a TikTok, but I can't remember if I told the vlog. So, anyway. Yesterday, I saw several patients, but it was kind of slow in the morning. A lot of patients no-showed, which I know is bad, but, like, it's fine with me. <laughs> um, so, I saw a pregnant patient, which is scary to me. I don't like seeing um, pregnant people. <laughs> I don't like OB, um, but thankfully, she was in her first uh, trimester, so nothing crazy. Um, so, I saw a pregnant patient, saw a diabetes follow-up. Um, I saw, what else did I see? 
wait. This is also why I shouldn't wait this long to tell because I can't remember. Um, I just like forget. I saw COPD, my joint injection. I did a joint injection a couple of weeks ago and I saw her for follow up and she's so much better. So I'm so happy about that, like ecstatic about that because it was really bad. And then hmm, that's all I can remember. But anyway, this lighting is awful. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to work. So we'll see you later. This is one of my guilty pleasures. I try not to have these very often. I probably have them like once a month or so, but I'm feeling really low energy today and I have 12 patients on my schedule this afternoon. So I'm scared to say the least. I'm double booked at two o'clock. I'm double booked at 2.30. I'm double booked at 3.30 and I'm double booked at four. And um, this is because one of our other nurse practitioners had to do something this afternoon and she requested it off um but the office manager forgot and didn't clear her schedule so i originally only had like three patients on my schedule this afternoon um but now i have 12 because they're like oh well like you can cover for her right and i'm like yeah but can we move some of these patients up to this morning because i only saw like five patients five or six patients this morning but none of the patients could come in this morning. So I'm seeing 12 patients this afternoon. I'm terrified, pray for me. I just like want it to be five o'clock right now, honestly. Literally deja vu, you guys. I'm heating up this freaking soup again for dinner. It's Wednesday night, I've had this three nights in a row and I don't care. I've also had it for lunch the last two days and I literally just could not care less because having soup means I don't have to cook and i'm all here for not cooking because i just finished all of my notes oh the last clip that you guys saw of me was saying i'm gonna see 12 patients this afternoon and i'm super nervous so i saw 12 patients i might have seen 13 patients this afternoon i have to count it was a whole conglomerate of things like medication follow-up imaging follow-up um diabetes hypertension fatty liver rhinosinusitis leg pain uh birth control so much stuff and it was good i feel like i handled it well but i only finished like two charts there and so i had to finish all of them at home tonight i didn't technically have to like i have i'm supposed to finish all of my charting in 24 hours so i have admin time from eight to nine every morning and then from one to two every evening i mean every afternoon but I'm the type of person who like, I feel like I can't relax unless I like complete a task. So I'm very much like have to finish something. And so I came home and I finished my notes and I just finished them at seven o'clock. It's 7.22 now, so I'm just heating up this soup. I have a headache, I'm so hungry, but it's okay just myself. I could have like just eaten right when I got home. And then tomorrow evening, we have like the grand opening of our med spa which is from like five to seven and i was like i'm not gonna stay the whole time because first of all i'm not doing botox right now like i just can't add anything else to my plate with like being a new provider and seeing a bunch of new patients and stuff and like figuring that stuff out so i'm like eventually yes i will do botox i don't think i'm gonna get certified to do botox because it's really easy and they can teach me they can train me um, i don't need to spend like the thousand dollars on certification um but i will eventually get certified to do filler because i want that like in a classroom setting to be taught whereas i feel like i i mean botox is literally just injections there's things that you have to watch out for like you know not hitting certain areas but i can figure that out so anyway that's the plan but i'm like tomorrow i have to be home late and i'm just tired and i'm look i'm just tired but it's okay because only have one more day of the week. I don't have to make it till Friday this week. Only have one more day, and then we get a three-day weekend. I live for a three-day weekend. I wish I worked four tens, um, five eights, five eight-hour shifts is hard for me. I posted like a TikTok yesterday that's like going viral, and it was like you know, event like I became an R and NP like three twelve-hour shifts turned into five eights, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And people were like, not the five eights, and honestly, like. You're right, five eight hour shifts is not ideal. But do I ever wanna work in the hospital again as a nurse? No, I don't. So that's my two cents. Anyway, 
this soup looks so good i'm gonna sit down i'm watching the night agent i'm on episode four it's not great but it's not bad and i feel like that's all that you can ask for with netflix shows nowadays like it keeps my attention some of the acting is bad but like the actual plot of the show is super interesting so i'm enjoying good morning you guys happy thursday i'm ill but <clears throat> i just have i don't know what i have honestly i took care of um i saw a couple sick kids a couple of days ago that i had a cold so i probably have just a cold i'm hoping it's just a cold um the i'm hoping it's not the flu i don't think it is because i'm not like down on my butt but i do have like a lot of body aches but i did not have a fever this morning so i'm hoping it's just a cold i'll wear a mask at work but i have like patients that i didn't want to cancel on so we are going to work i'm supposed to be going to this like grand opening of the med spa, med spa tonight i think i told you guys about that but i don't know if that's gonna happen because i just i feel really bad honestly and <coughs> i kind of just want to come home and lay in my bed if i don't have if i don't have sorry i like just dropped you guys if i don't have a lot of patience this afternoon i'll probably leave like earlier so we'll see but i had to run to starbucks this morning because i only have almond milk at home and um my other coffee machine like my regular coffee machine the actual like kettle is broken so um like i the glass is broken so coffee like drips through onto the heating pad while it's making it so i was like i have I have nothing because I usually make my espresso with oat milk. I think it's gross with almond milk. So just picked up a coffee this morning, which probably isn't going to help. I do feel a little nauseous, but I think I will be even worse off if I don't have coffee. So hopefully this is good. It looks good. I like it when you can see like the color, like the darker color at the bottom and the lighter at the top. I always get a grande um, brown sugar shake and espresso with three pumps of brown sugar instead of four. Sometimes I do two pumps instead of four if I just feel like it's gonna be, like I don't want any sugar. I probably should have done that this morning. Oh yeah, I definitely should have done that this morning. Oh, it's really sweet. It's really sweet, but it's also really strong. So, good morning. Pray I get through the day. Hi, you guys. It's Sunday. I am just getting over an illness. I sound really bad still, but I'm pretty sure I've had the flu. I can't. Let me pause this really quick. Oh, my God. Okay, so... On Wednesday evening, I don't know if I even included this in like my Thursday clips. I don't even know what I last filmed because it's now Sunday. But um, on Wednesday evening, I started like kind of getting a feeling like, oh, I'm not feeling so great, like a little tickle in the back of my throat. And then on Thursday at work, I definitely had, it's the worst angle, but I don't even really care. Um, on thursday at work i definitely like i did not feel good at certain times i was like i feel like maybe i have a fever but people would like i never actually took my temperature but people would feel me and be like no i don't think you do anyway i felt so awful so i didn't even end up staying for like the grand opening of the meds so i just came home and literally laid on the couch the rest of the night and then i did not leave the bed on friday except for to like go to the bathroom i literally did not leave my bed on friday and then on saturday like yesterday evening i started feeling a little bit better so i left my bed for the first time and got in the car with my husband and he went to go get boba and i i mean i just stayed in the car but that's the like the first time i left the house in 48 hours and then today i am feeling a bit better but i feel like super fatigued um anything that i do just takes it out of me because i've barely eaten the last three days i guess I didn't eat on Friday. What did I eat? I ate a bagel. I ate a half. I ate an 
ate one half of a bagel on Friday. Saturday, I ate a piece of bread and an orange. And then today, I've finally been able to like eat some more, but I haven't felt nauseous or anything like that. I just have had absolutely no appetite. So I've been like forcing myself to eat. So anyway, I think I had the flu. I'd have had terrible like body aches. That was really my worst symptom was like body aches, had a fever on and off. Um, and then I'm obviously have some upper respiratory symptoms that I'm getting over. So anyway, I kind of sucks because I totally just, I mean, not my fault, not anybody's fault, but I totally blew my like nice three day weekend. I literally have not left my house except for that one time. I haven't done anything fun. So I'm like kind of upset about it, but anyway it is what it is um i'm glad that i didn't like have to take any time off of work or anything but it would have been nice to like have a a nice easter weekend so anyway it's sunday afternoon right now i'm getting ready to sit down and edit this vlog so i felt like i would just do a little outro <laughs> i'm not in the best mood um if i'm being completely honest because now that i'm feeling better i just have to go back to work tomorrow <laughs> um but anyway hoping to have a good week and i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you next week and hopefully next week is a good week <laughs>